one of the most used functions in Excel is VLOOKUP and this is the function that most people don't understand. So today I am going to share with you how to use the VLOOKUP function really well so that you can become an Excel champ. VLOOKUP is extremely useful when you want to search for something. For example, you want to search the price of a product. You want to find the salary of an employee. Whatever you want to find in a master table like a product master, pricing master or an employee uh, database, you can easily look up using the VLOOKUP function. If you know how to use a dictionary, then you are pretty well set to use the VLOOKUP function. So let me quickly demonstrate to you how you can ace the VLOOKUP function and become a champ in Excel. Hey guys, I'm Vinay Prakash from excelchamp.net. I bring you tips, tricks and tutorials on Excel so that you can become an expert, a champ in Excel. So if you haven't done, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified whenever I release new videos and do live training sessions. And now let's get started with the VLOOKUP. I'm sure you know how to use a dictionary. Well, you have a word that you want to find the meaning for. So what do you do? You get a dictionary, open it and then uh, you start to search exactly for the letter that the word starts with. So let's say you are looking for the giraffe. So you will open the dictionary somewhere in the middle and flip through the pages until you find the letter G. And then you will start to flip page by page from G A, G B, G C until you come to the G I. And then you will carefully use your finger to go down and look for G I R like that so that you can find the giraffe. And once you have found the giraffe, the second word that's written is actually the meaning. So this is how we use VLOOKUP. We must know what word we are searching for. Secondly, we must know where is our dictionary so that we can look it up. The third thing we need to know is which column are you looking for? The first column which is the word or the second column which is the meaning of the word. So uh, these are the three key things and the fourth thing which I will show you in a minute is the match type. What exactly is the match type? We will discuss and this is coming up in this detailed step by step video. So now I'll take you into Excel. So here you can see I have prepared a Excel file where we have our products listed in this product master table. We are selling these products, the description and the price. When the customer walks in and says, I would like to purchase product number C222, which is a marker, we need the description. Of course, we can type by looking at here, but what happens if you are selling thousands of items? You cannot be searching up and down the way uh, to search just for the description or the price. That's where the VLOOKUP function comes in handy. So I'll simply write here equals VLOOKUP and then uh, I will choose the word that I am looking for. This is the product that I need the description for. So where is our product? The products are all here. Please take care, do not select the headings, only the data. So this is where the data is, the product, the description and the prices. So I have selected it and because we will be using this formula for other cells as well, uh, we want to lock the cell. So we press the F4 key and it becomes absolute reference. That means now this uh, reference will not change. That's it. We put a comma. Now the important thing is which column do you want uh, for the description? Do you want the first column or the second column or the third column? So of course the description is in the second column. 
So I can simply choose two, which is my second column. That's it. We close this and uh, we will see what happens. So it is able to pick up the marker. Fantastic. Now, uh, the match type I have not discussed yet. It is coming up. I want to show you uh, if you do not pick the, mar the match type, what will happen. Now the customer wanted to purchase 10 quantity and we need the price of the marker. Again, we will write another VLOOKUP function here. VLOOKUP, open the bracket. We will not look by the name. We will look by the product number. So I selected the product number. Again, our data is in this area. So we highlight it and press F4 to lock the cell reference comma this time we don't want the first column we don't want the second column we want the third column so i'll pick three here and close the bracket and you can see we picked up the correct price for this product now only thing remaining is to calculate the total which is pretty easy we take the quantity and multiply it by the price and press enter so we can see the total. Now all you need to do is to simply drag these formulas down. So when the customer comes in and purchases a second product, let's say now they would like to purchase a, a pen and you type P104 and now we need the description. So of course we do not need to write the function. We simply can pull this down and it automatically picks up the correct description. So you can see that now we are looking up the pen in the same list because this is fixed and we are picking the second column, the description. Uh, let's write the quantity, which is three and the price. Again, we can pull this down. In fact, we can pull this down for all the other cells, but then what happens is uh, if there's no, uh, nothing to look up, in this case, there's nothing to look up here. You will get unnecessary NA errors. So if you wish to only pull down and copy the formula when the need arises, you can do that. And let us copy this formula down as well. And now you can see three times 10, 30 is calculated. So this is the easy portion. It is extremely easy. So let me recap for you to find anything we simply need to type the product A111 and for the VLOOKUP, we can write it by typing VLOOKUP. Choose the uh, column that you want to look up. This is the what we want to find. The second thing is where we want to find. So we select it, we press F4 to lock it. And the third thing is which column we want. So for the description, we don't want the first column, we want the second column. I'll say two and close. That's it. So the diary shows up, we type the quantity and done. So as you can see, this is pretty easy. Now let me tell you a problem that can happen. So let us say a customer um, comes in and wants to purchase a product. This product is called T999. Do you have this in our product master table? We don't have it. So of course the price cannot come because the price is not there. The product simply does not exist. But let us see what happens. When I type here T999 and press enter, you notice it automatically finds a price of $150. I am amazed. How come Excel found a price of 150 when the T999 does not even exist in anywhere in our table? Well, what Excel is doing is it goes through the product list one by one. But when it reaches the end and it cannot find the T999 uh, because there's no value here. So what it does is it just goes back, takes a step back and takes the last nearest approximate value and that's how we got the 150. 
So if I were to pull down this formula, the description will show printer. So you now know that we are getting the price and the description of the printer, which is P888, not T999. Now, of course, this is completely wrong. You cannot sell a product with a different description and a different pricing when the customer comes in. This way, we will unnecessarily get into trouble. So what we want to do is to sell the correct product with the correct description and the correct price. So we can easily fix this by modifying our formulas. And what we will do is at the end of the three, uh, the third column, we will specify the match type. The match type for an exact match is called false. So simply choose false. And now we press enter. In this case, we modified the formula and now when we pull down, the T999 says it is not available. Sorry, we don't have the description. Similarly, let me fix the pricing formula as well. And at the end, we type the fourth argument, which is optional. You see, if you don't specify it, it will take the first one, which is approximate match. That means to take the nearest value. I don't want that. So I'll choose exact match, which is false. Press enter. There's no change if the value is found. But if the value isn't found, now you can see that the price is NA and we won't make the mistake of selling a product with a wrong description and at a wrong price. So there you have it. It's extremely easy to write the VLOOKUP function. All you need to understand is that what are you searching for? Where is it? Which column number you want? One or two or three? And what's the match type? For exact match, you should always use false. Now, you can also use a zero because some people, they change the true and false to a one or a zero. So true is one and false is zero. So take note, if you want to use the match type, I suggest you just choose the false. But if you see somebody else has written a formula and they have used a zero, that's not completely wrong. That's another way of writing false. So there you have it. I have explained to you step by step how to use the VLOOKUP formula with the exact match. I hope you have now understood it well and you are on your way to become a champ in Excel. Do remember to subscribe to our channel and like this video. I wait for your comments to find out if this solved your problem or not. What else can I record for you? Please tell me your suggestions so that I can record more similar tips, tricks and tutorial videos for you. Thank you guys. All the best.